Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more of The Witcher. We've got a, just a couple of things left to do. We're going to be doing the old friend of mine quest. Uh, it's party time, really. Uh, we need to go in, hand in the alcohols now to Shani, which I located. You can actually purchase them all at the Hairy Bear Inn. Um, what I didn't realize is that they weren't all strong alcohols. I was just, for some reason, going under the assumption that they all are, and they're not. So after we do that, we're going to go and place the Sephiroth into the monoliths. monoliths. We're going to enter the tower, and, and we're going to deal with Azar. So without further ado, let's go deal with the crazy lady in Shani's house. It's party time! What she want? Say something! Move aside. Get Whoops, out! but... <laughs> I misclicked. Let's try that again. No one teach you manners? I'm here to see Shani. Sits in a room entertaining guests and... Uh-huh. Poor kitten. Uh-huh. Will you take pity on... <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, man, really? You're gonna kick me out for giving you ten orins? This bitch is crazy. I ain't got time for this. Maybe she won't charge me this time. I don't re I'm here. Get out! But Arg. Yeah, sometimes I get tripped up. There's certain dialogue options for each of them. Where are you? I'm here. Sits in our uh, uh, Will you? All right. Let's get it right this time. It's probably the last time we'll have to come in here, so. Just give her 20, because I know that that works. Upstairs. No big deal. Yes? I'm here to take pity on the kitty. I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. It's party time. All right, so we have to invite one person. There's three different choices, if I recall. I think one of the best options you can pick would be Zoltan. So I'm thinking we're gonna invite Zoltan. Wherever he may be. He might be at the Hairy Bear. He might be in uh, the house up the road there. So we'll go to the Hairy Bear first. We go. Doesn't appear to be here at the moment. Let's wait for day. Oops. Damn it. Any room? Five or. Let's take a little rest. And we're gonna wait for daybreak, and hopefully Zoltan will be here. And round the world. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. To go on a little hunt. Find Zoltan. We'll go to the other location that he frequents. See if he's there. Plus, I just like Zoltan. He's an important character in the second game. Probably even more so than in this game. Let's see if he's in Vivaldi's place. There you are. Yes? You old lout. Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Oh, I got that. Farewell. Do 
Do I need to go there now, or do I need to go there at night? I guess we'll find out momentarily. Debauchery under my roof. She hooks herself a musician or something. It's the famous poet Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally, you're making sense. Grandma is just such a hilarious character. Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Hello, Dandelion. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Cahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. Hmm. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka, a bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Sounds like a normal Friday night. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down, have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. Could definitely use a drink. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. Where's Mr. Zoltan? I've been thinking, and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? You said we've been through a lot together, so you should know. Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Vampires are born from black magic, evil by nature. Negotiation usually ends with one of the parties losing a lot of blood, and it's rarely the vampire. And what if the vampire doesn't care to drink blood? They inherently drink blood. But I think you have something else in mind. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a vampire. Dandelion. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. <laughs> Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for good bees. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. Everybody's getting wasted. The party is going on. Let's talk to Zoltan Shive. What's up, Zoltan? Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Bees is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. 
My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! Stumbling around a little bit. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Rusty! All the alcohols. Let us be merry and gay. You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion will. He'd mess up. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, geez. This could go horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Though I'm not seeing anything to loot, nor am I seeing Granny. Here's something. There she is. What? You drunk? Not true. Mm -hmm. Out! Don't let me see you again! Aw, oh, man, she kicked me out. Let me back in. Any success? Lard and pickles. What? Uh-oh. You drunk! Not true. Out! Damn it. I may have uh, screwed up the quest here. Not sure how. Not. Out! Well, here's an idea. I believe I have something to get rid of the effects of drunkenness. At least I did at one point. There we go. Now maybe she'll let me back in. Hello. All right. I'm back. I just have to get drunk again. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do. Gotta love that lard. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. By the woods can you see Wolf in all his might Grinning madly, wagging gladly Bouncing with delight My oh my, what a sight 
Why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed. That is why so jolly. Arr, arr, arr. In the grass, can you see? Wolf just limps along. Looking down, awful frown. Crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that, freshly wed or lately engaged. Arr. Zoltan, how's the wife? Ah, uh, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. Quiet, Dandelion's singing. No, he's not. They're leaving. Back up the stairs. Grandma's gonna attack me. Where did they go? Hmm. Did I finish the quest? Ah, I have to bring some roses and say thanks. Let's go ahead and neutralize alcohol once again. Should be able to buy some flowers around here. You sell anything I could use? What? Yes, you do. Let's wait until nightfall once again. Head over to the fireplace. Haven't found any better way to go about it. Wait for nightfall. Oop, hello. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Let's go into the hairy bear. Greetings, innkeeper. I need a room. Dang. Any room? Five. Yes, please. And now we'll wait for nightfall once again. Off we go. Shawnee's house. Snag a save as well. Definitely glad I had those intoxication potions or that would have been a lot more annoying. She likes me now. She keeps letting me go in. Without a fight. Yes. I'll give you some flowers. Red roses, Geralt. So you... You're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help... No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. We were walking along the dike one evening, 
when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over Special Forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Tyler told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Tyler said to the men, This better be important. One of them answered, But chief, we hid invisible-like. Tyler said, Your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Voltaire's secret police. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. So that's actually one way to clear Toller's name if you haven't proceeded with the main quests as I have. Let's take a look here. So now we need to head on to the main quest. Let's go and place the Sephiroths in their proper location.